Welcome back, and uh, as usual this week, busy with a bunch of different things going on. So here Britt came into the shop to uh, tack together this uh, last pipe there because we ac actually had to insert a little bit of extra pipe in there that goes between Turbo 1 and Turbo 2 um, because when I squashed that pipe to sort of make the rectangle shape, it shortened the radius a little bit. So we put a little bit more section in there, and that's going to work out for us. So um, he's tacked that up and taken that away to be welded. And as you can see before, or he took it away, we kind of mocked everything up. So here's the two turbos kind of in place and the the uh, cold side joining up. And there's the other cold side. And then the uh, air filter will be on the top of that open pipe up the back there. And then there's the, the pipe that he's just been working on there that's just tacked into place. And lastly, the exhaust pipe sort of sticking out there. So the only thing missing there is the one that goes up to the intercooler. Uh, anyway, so that's moving along, and uh, here Jeff and Devon was on Monday. We're laying up the second one of these nose uh, gear brackets that sort of uh, you know steers the nose gear in the front there and um, provides a hard point for the retraction mechanism. So they got that pretty much done, and then this is this morning Tuesday. Uh, Jeff uh, cleaning off all the layup from that one, the peel ply and the breather fabric and such, so that would be ready to trim shortly. And still on the nose gear, the next thing we had to do was create these little standoff um, sort of brackets similar to how we had to do it with the rear main gear. Um, and this is for the main attachment point for the nose gear, which is basically lives in the keel. So these ones that are highlighted in blue there, they need to be uh, created and, you know, just out of carbon fiber and a little bit of FR4 to add like a mounting block. And then these other blocks that I'm highlighting, those are um, aluminum 6061 and just sent that off uh, to be milled. Um, over at um, Preferred. And so anyway, creating these um, little standoffs here, the best way to do it is, and Jeff actually suggested this, is just uh, create like a quick little mold um, out of MDF, the same stuff that we were cutting that first rib out of. And uh, so I just quickly, uh, you know, created the surfaces for this and there's a tool path on there that's sort of highlighted in the green uh, or the blue. Um, and here's the machine, I uh, just got that running this afternoon and uh, just running with the MDF and the 3 8 of an inch ball mill and just back and forth with a really tight step over so once this comes out it shouldn't be hardly anything to do to it um, should just be able to wax it mainly and, and lay up the parts in there so here you can see uh, quite a bit further along um, just doing a nice job there and uh, won't take long to have that little super quick mold done for us so you'll see that um, probably in the next video laying up um, those two parts for that so getting closer to having all the nose gear stuff sorted out and Britt was back over again this afternoon in in a real hurry I didn't get any video but basically he's tacked in the last pieces now for the mounting tabs for the um, the belt drive system and he's taken the engine mount with him now so he can finish all the welding so we won't see that for a few days but uh, when that comes back um, we'll be able to start bolting a whole bunch of things together uh, meanwhile the guys have been working on uh, the second round of sanding on these uh, wing spar plugs and they're making good progress there won't be too long and then uh, they'll both of those will be ready for the next uh, round of primer and here's that one that uh, Jeff and Devon laid up uh, yesterday so it's been popped out of the mold and trimmed off so we have both of those now for the nose gear and uh, the next thing is we're working on um, figuring out here where we're going to have the breather lines for the tanks so it has to be three breather lines that all sort of mate together and they're going to come into this uh, fitting there and then go up through that bulkhead there um, and then up sort of loop up around in the roof on the inside there and then back down again and back basically back through that bulkhead again and then straight down and then out the bottom and then with a check valve so it, air can only um, come into the tank and fuel can't run out so anyway you'll see that later on and uh, these pulleys arrived the ones that I sort of special ordered because we needed ones um, this is for the um, governor drive need ones with a larger thing so that that one's going to bolt to the water mount or the water pump pulley on the engine just like that so we have to drill those three holes through there and this is the larger one I already got that one bolted on there and even though it has a slightly larger uh, diameter in there by about four thou um, it seems to be fitting well but we'll give it a try and uh, if it doesn't work we'll have to sort of uh, shim it in there but it's not moving around at all um, so anyway, I tightened up the little allen bolts in there and sorted that out so that's another thing uh, that's getting close to being done and our seat belts arrived so these are just going to be for the front seats obviously and they're just sort of standard racing harnesses nothing um, too fancy but I think for the 
testing of the prototype they're um, going to be good in their five point harnesses obviously and um, the actual the other label on there actually has the date stamped out of it for anyone who's going to um, ask so two years from May 2017. Anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching.